there were some bits in Apocalypse Cow that I didn't mind, but I have to say I didn't find the episode that entertaining. This is the 17th episode of the 19th season of The Simpsons, and the main narrative revolves around Bart joining a 4-H club. And credit to the episode, it taught me about 4-H clubs. I'd never heard of them, I did some Googling, I learned some stuff, so that was nice. And he joins this club where he ends up falling in love with a cow, basically, and treating this cow so well and becoming such good friends with this animal. And it's kind of interesting to see Bart slightly having similar thoughts to Lisa. He's determined he's not going to become a vegetarian, but it is nice to see him really doting on this animal and wanting the best for the animal. Unfortunately, it seems like something bad is going to happen to the cow. And, well, Bart ends up in a sticky situation involving one of Cletus's children. I won't say any more than that about the narrative, but I found it to be unpredictable, which was good, but I didn't find it to be the most interesting or the most entertaining. We have uh, Zoe Deschanel voicing Mary, and we also have uh, a lot of celebration for Tress McNeil. Tress McNeil was mentioned by name twice in this, which I just thought was fabulous and uh, really entertaining. It's not often that they they mention Simpsons voice actors. Uh, I think Dan Castellaneta has been mentioned a few times. Matt Groening, of course, has been mentioned uh, as the creator of various different things. Um, but yeah, nice to have some celebration for Tress McNeil. But beyond that, uh, I just, I don't know, I didn't really care too much for the narrative. I wasn't invested in it emotionally. I didn't really care about what happened to the characters or, dare I say it, the cow. It was unpredictable. So it, it was engaging in that regard, but I wasn't emotionally invested in it. So I didn't mind it. I didn't love it. I would never choose to watch it, but I wouldn't skip it if I was watching season 19. It's nice to see a different side of Bart and Bart having different emotional reactions to things. And Tress McNeil's mentions were uh, rather awesome. But other than that, I don't think there was much about Apocalypse Cow that I particularly liked.